let's design some sounds with the new Babylon 2 synth. I'm starting with the initial sound. And for this first sound we're going to make, I want to stick to something more simple. And you can see right here, we can select between four different oscillator options. So for the first one, I'm going to use single. Now we just have a saw sound, saw oscillator. And if we enable the filter, we can already give it a bit of shape by filtering out the high end. Maybe I want this key tracked though. This means that the higher notes keep more of their brightness because the filter cutoff is dependent on the note you're playing. By default, this is already velocity sensitive. If you go to the matrix tab right here, you see that the velocity is mapped to the main volume. So if I play quiet notes, it's quieter. And if I hit the keys harder, it's louder. We could also do this with the filter. So let's take the velocity and map it to the filter cutoff. And if I play soft notes now, they're dark. And if I press the keys harder, we get a bit more brightness. And you can see this smaller wheel with the cutoff shows the amount of modulation. This is a bit too much. That sounds pretty nice. So we went from a simple saw wave to something that is actually kind of fun to play just by enabling the filter and giving it some velocity sensitivity. Let's now also link the filter to an envelope. We can just do this by turning up this envelope knob right here. And now we just have to increase the decay to our taste. Maybe take down the cutoff a bit more. A bit of resonance. And now we have this kind of famous meow tone. This sound I think is already very usable. We could layer it though with another single oscillator. Let's select a wave shape from this folder. Maybe let's take an instrument, like an electric piano, e-piano. This is our second oscillator now. We can go through the wave shapes with these arrows. And this is also going through the filter from what I'm hearing. So let's turn off the filter. Filter back on. And let's hear how it sounds with our first oscillator together. Just the first oscillator. And with the second together. Let's maybe give that second one some unison. We increase the amount of voices. And this gives kind of a chorus effect. We can detune them more, spread them more. Now let's bring down the volume of oscillator one a bit. So they mesh nicely. It's not bad, as I said, a simple sound. Now we can go to the menu, click rename and save, give our preset a name, for example, simple keys and save it. And now we go to reset preset. And we have an initial preset again. For the second sound, I want to use this quad oscillator because I think that's pretty interesting. And there are some demo examples, for example, this organ one, and it will load four different wave shapes, right? And if we turn this knob, we are modulating between these two wave shapes. And if we turn the position X knob, we are modulating vertically. And now I can, for example, use the mod wheel in the matrix again and tell it to modulate oscillator one position X. We turn this all the way up, tell it to modulate it 
totally. And now I can use the mod wheel to morph between these two sounds. And this is a keyboard with polyphonic aftertouch and we can also use that. I can tell it to use aftertouch and then modulate the position Y of oscillator one. We turn this all the way up, this all the way up. And if I don't use aftertouch now, so I just play the keys as usual. We hear the sound from all the way down on the bottom left. Same sound as this. But if I enable aftertouch by pressing harder, I'm modulating vertically the position Y. And with the mod wheel, I can modulate position X with the aftertouch position Y, and this can be pretty expressive. This position is a bit too intense of aftertouch. Maybe let's turn that down a bit. This one as well. That's a bit more natural to play. And if we click on Wave Lab, we can actually modify all of these four wave shapes. See right here in this secondary box, we can even right click and we have all of the regular oscillators we saw in the beginning again. We could, for example, have a voice in this first slot. And then in this top one, which is number three, we could put a pulse. And now if I use aftertouch, I can switch between the voice and the pulse. And then on two, we could add an instrument, like a key. That's a bit too harsh. Maybe a different key. This is cool. A whirly sound. And then number four, what can we put here? Another instrument, like an organ. To access that, I have to use aftertouch and put the mod wheel on the top. And like this you can create pretty crazy patches to perform with. Let's give this some effects, like a chorus for example. Maybe a delay as well. Some reverb. And maybe let's also add a filter that is key tracked. That's it for today's video. As you saw, I only used one oscillator for the second sound and I didn't even use the third oscillator or the noise or there's also modulations like vibrato or multiple envelopes. So if you want complex sounds, you have a lot more to explore than I did in this video. I hope you found some inspiration to design some of your own sounds. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks very much WA Productions for having me. I have been Sylvan from the channel Santus Sound Factory. See you then soon.